Good day, welcome to Kimo's Everything. Look what we got, a 15 and a half inch atomic clock. And I got this at the Goodwill. This one's actually been discontinued. So they, they have newer models of this, but I, from the one I've seen, none of the newer models have this little digital display here. And I, I like this, it was like six bucks. I couldn't pass up, that's brand new in the box. Look at this, not even been opened up yet. Uh, but if you ever used an atomic clock, like these Casio um, G-Shock, this is a G-Shock atomic. I like to have the correct time up to the second, up to the second. I like to be exact, and this is what this is going to do. So I thought we'd open it up and take a peek at it and see if it syncs up. Might have to go uh, to another area and point it outside to get the get to sync up because uh, we're kind of underground right here. So it may or may not sync up. And, and this, I did kind of look online and it says, oh, it may take up to three days to sync up because. I know my G-Shock, it seems like it syncs up uh, early in the morning, late at night. At, and during the day, it doesn't seem to have a very super good signal. Now it has a actually a really good signal. So it may work. It may work. And it, I believe it uses one little battery. I got this beautiful Harbor Freight AA battery for this guy. So I'm going to open it up. And I think I need a screwdriver because it's screwed on here on the back. So let me get a screwdriver. I got a screwdriver. Let's see if we can get this open here. Yeah, I was really amazed when I found this. And it was actually hidden, so I think somebody found this at Goodwill and put it in like with the uh, uh, spoons and spatulas and pans and all that crap, so nobody would find it. I found it. I found it. For that price, I ain't gonna pass it up. So I do need a new clock for the office, and I'm thinking this is gonna do the trick. Oh, there we go. I'll save those. Let's see. Get that all the way out. Why not? And I like the size of it. Um, looked on Lacrosse's website. This is LacrosseTechnology.com, and they go for like between 35, 55 bucks. And if you want any really, really fancy ones, it goes for quite a bit more. But this one, I'm gonna say, it was probably like 35 bucks. It wasn't super expensive. Could have been 50. Like I said it is discontinued. I don't see any kind. Of, oh, here's the manual. It comes with the manual. I don't see any, any batteries in here. Let me rip it open. I'm gonna rip it open. No batteries, not a battery at all. Nope, no battery. No battery. But it comes with a manual. And I kind of know how this works. I think, oh, here you go. Time set. Here's for the battery. Oh, wait, what's this? Two batteries. Okay, so it uses two batteries one for the digital display, one for this piece. And you can see here it's got a couple buttons. I think this is uh, Pacific Time, Mountain Time, Central Time, Eastern Time. So I think the thing is, you set this up, it'll sync up time to Pacific time, and then after it does that, you pick your time zone, and like there's a little button here if you don't have a time zone, or if you don't can't get the the uh, uh, the signal, you can set it manually, something like that. And this, oh, this, so this is the settings for time set display, and I like this one because it's going to show me the temperature and the date, so I get the time, temperature, and date. So that's pretty cool. So tell, let me grab one more battery. Let me grab one more battery. Okay, we got two batteries. Two batteries. Let's just do one at a time. Let's see which way do you think it goes. Looks like it goes. Uh, looks like maybe this way. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at it go. Look at it go. I think what it does, it goes around looking for a signal. And if you can't find one, it stops at 4, 8, 12, something like that. I don't guess it's not going to find a signal. Let me see. Let me check the signal. I don't get a decent signal down here. But it did say, oh, you might have to stick it in a window for three to four days. I was like, ugh. I know we get a good signal here, so it should probably overnight sync up. I guess no, because it keeps, keeps it going. Look at it go. And we are in the basement here, so we're kind of underground, so I don't know how, how well this is going to work. I might have to just go upstairs and try it. Yeah, usually it says it stops here, here, or here. They didn't find a signal, so is it going to stop? Okay, it didn't find a signal. Now, let me go to another area, see if it'll sync up. What happened? Ten minutes after I walked away from it? Oh yeah, so it didn't. I didn't have to wait any time at all, really. And we got the uh, correct time 
uh, wrong Pacific time, uh, correct date. And this is temperature. So I think we just need to find central time. There it goes. Oh, look at it go. Should be 9.05. 9.05. It's getting closer. 8.05. Come on. That's what I like about this stuff. Especially if you're like in a conference room or just in um, you know, office space. You don't have to screw around with the phone or screw around with the um the clock. You just jam it on the wall, let it go, and daylight savings time, and it'll correct itself. There we go. Perfect. Do you want to see what the display changes? Let's see. There you go, Monday. Ooh. World time. Let's see, here it shows the signal. So we got a good signal. So there we go. Done. How cool is that? Atomic clock. And for like six bucks. Can't beat it. I'm going to hang this on the wall and enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's you guys. Have a great day.